Welcome back guys for uh, another video. I really am pumping those videos out today. So um, yeah, I think this is my first video in a short time. Anyways, uh, this this is something I would really like to cover uh, because I, w I was having a Skype conversation with the Mars Anomaly channel with Chris and uh, my name is Christian by the way. I just call him Chris and I'm Christian. But um, why do people actually think that Mars has a, a blue sky? It's not only the fact that NASA has been uh, covering up all these kind of things. You know, when you look at, it, at pictures, you can see a lot of blur, really crappy quality. And I'll be covering uh, a bit more on how they uh, work and how they achieve such crap results. Uh, sorry for using the word crap, but uh, I can't find any other word for it. Um, <coughs> as you uh, space fans might uh, might know, they could have done a lot better job uh, of doing this. What we are covering here is um, why wouldn't be uh, the the atmosphere blue. This is an actual picture here, um, from NASA. It's it's an official image. Look at this. So the first thing is when you go to Google and always think and always look. This is really really strange you have a lot of official links here but look how many different colors that can be seen about Mars here look how many colors I just can't even count them on one hand it's absolutely ridiculous I always thought um, it might sound stupid to you but I always thought there was something like this or a bit more red and rocky and I eventually got to this image and this is just absolutely amazing this, uh, this image was taken uh, by the Hubble the Hubble telescope of course and uh, as you can see it's an official link here I'll put it uh, in the description as always um, and you can see all these kind of awesome awesome images you could clearly see an atmosphere there are a lot of reasons why people think Mars has a blue sky why not it seems that, that the lighting in combination with the atmosphere whatsoever creates a blue atmosphere. You can clearly see it here. There's no buts or ads, ends or whatever. Um, let, let me give you a quick example. They say that, that the atmosphere is red because of all the redness and sand and whatever is on the planet. And it um, sends in the light that uh, hits the rock back into the atmosphere which creates a orange kind of red atmosphere uh, you guys know how big deserts are right they are really huge if that will be um, the thing that is happening here even on rocky deserts where there's almost only rock here the sky doesn't get orange in that particular area if that would be true then the sky should be orange or red red kind of glare in the desert you know the, how big the Grand Canyon is? You go to the Grand Canyon, you still have a blue sky with or without, without clouds. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I haven't seen these pictures earlier. I guess I'm so focused and in love with anomalies. Uh, you just forget the basics. So that's why I'm trying to uh, throw in a simple thing here. A simple thought are actually the most amazing things that, that, that can happen in your brain because uh, you always at least in society these days you're always trying to be to think really hard and 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 always try uh, you always automatically think that everything is complex so you forget to ask the basic questions there as you can see Mars has an atmosphere it shines blue when you step on the planet set foot on the planet look up in the sky it should be blue that's it so uh, I don't think I have more to say. I'll put up the uh, link in the description. I mean, there's absolutely beautiful images here, and you can constantly see that it that, that it's a different kind of Mars we're looking at. But in this image, you can still see that there is clearly an uh, atmosphere around present uh, present there. So uh, thank you for watching. I'll pull up another video. I think in a half hour, and. Uh, I'll do an an another anomaly video because uh, yeah there's a lot of stuff I would like to cover and uh, I'm working on the uh, JPEG degradation uh, stuff and uh, you can see all those tabs here I'm uh, I'm on a mad roll here 
and uh, thank you for watching be sure to subscribe check out more of the videos I uh, just made a video that uh, shows you guys uh, how to make f uh, a, a chunk of steel look like a Martian rock and then I put that Martian rock in an image and try to make you look for it see if you can find it and uh, yeah I'll show you how to achieve it yourself could have done a lot better job but I'll cover the entire thing uh, later later on very uh, you know maybe in 20 videos in the late future so thank you for watching thank you for listening thank you for subscribing sharing and thumbing uh, th and all the thumbs up and uh, I can see it when, when you shared and, and thumb me up I mean it's absolutely amazing so um, yeah you guys are keeping me excited I was excited about uh, anomalies Mars my entire life about space anything since I was a really small child the only dream I had was actually ah humanity needs to go to space as soon as possible I uh, hope you have the same feeling as I do and I uh, keep it real keep it skeptical always ask questions even the most basic things because I really totally overlooked this and if you overlooked it as well I hope you've uh, <coughs> it made you think again really strange here yeah, not constantly you see different kind of Mars here alright thank you very much for watching see you in the next video